Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from our glitter warehouse. Going to be doing a tutorial tonight on how to do the Wonder Woman tumbler. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some little tricks that I've picked up doing these, especially doing this on the curved glass. Um, so we're going to get started. I've got all of my supplies here. I have my prepped 20 ounce hog uh, modern curve tumbler. I have my three jars of glitter that I'll be using tonight, which is the ones we did in our uh, Wonder Woman pack. So we have Scarlet, Hay There, and Blutiful, as well as I have my Mod Podge. Of course, got to have that to do this tumbler. Um, I use Mod Podge matte. I've got my fancy schmancy paintbrush. And also what will be needed for this is a stencil for the Wonder Woman belt or crown. Um, and I use a, it's Oracle, um, 651 vinyl to do the stencil so that my lines are nice and clean. So we're going to go ahead and get started so you guys can follow along. All right. So what we're going to be doing to start is the, um, red, gold, and blue. So in order to get this effect, we're going to have to put the stencil on the cup using um, vinyl, or if you want to, you can try to use tape. Um, it's really up to you, but, um, I always do it in two pieces. That way I don't have to worry about the curve of the cup. It's easier if you do this on a straight cup, such as like a fatty or a skinny, because they have that solid straight, uh, cylinder shape. Um, but I kind of like this cause you kind of get a nice busty look, um, with the tumblers like this. So as you can see, the gold goes all the way around. Um, and this is the crown for woman, Wonder Woman. So when I do this, I always start first with the uh, top part of the crown. And I do this by hand because it's easier for me to manipulate the vinyl. So let's get started. Um, and I'm trying to do this so that y'all can see the best possible way. I wish I had something to hold the box. A cup but I don't. So in order to do this you're going to find a point that you like and just go ahead and get started with it. So um, I'm about what does that look like about two and a half three inches down on the cup from where the point is to the top of the cup and now it's stuck to me. Okay so once <laughs> Once I get the point picked on here, you're going to take the little arms or wings or whatever you want to call those and wrap it around the tumbler. You don't need to worry about any ripples or anything that will appear at the bottom because we're actually going to not have to worry about them as we cover it up with the other, um, the other part of the crown, which is the other piece of vinyl. So if you get wrinkles and stuff, you don't have to worry about those just as long as the top part is nice and smooth and straight. So now we've got that. And the goal is to make your two lines meet up. As best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to be pretty straight. So that's the top part. Now we have to do this bottom part here, which helps cover up these little wrinkles here. I'm just making sure everything looks straight, which it does. So on this, I have this at the bottom as a one inch. It's just a rectangle. It's one inch thick. Um, it doesn't have to be that thick because like I said, I do tend to overlap this so that it just gets a nice coverage on there. So your main focus is to make sure that the bottom line is what's straight. You don't have to worry about the top and if it has the ripples on it, because it will, as the uh, vinyl underneath it has the ripples. So you just follow the line around. The nice thing about vinyl is it's stretchy, which is why I like to use it. Oh my goodness. It's not wanting to to the cup as much as it wants to stick to me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to start in the middle. 
So you're gonna place your vinyl where you feel like it should lay and then do the same thing that you did with the crown top, which is just wrap it around so that you end up with a nice straight line. Again, it does not have to be perfect. You may end up with a crease or two, but it's again okay because with Mod Podge, it's just going to be covered up when you fill in the glitter. easy to do this from a different angle than you're used to. Alright. Oh my goodness. Just does not want to stick to anything but me today. Okay. So I've got to make this edge wrap around a little bit better. All right, there we go. So now we have the crown all the way around, with nice smooth edges on the top and the bottom. So now that we have our template set, we will start with the Mod Podge and glitter, which is really easy to do because if you followed any of our tutorials that I've done, we make this as easy as possible. At least we try. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour some Mod Podge into a cup. And then that's what I will be using. For those of you who may have missed it, again, this is Mod Podge matte. And um, I always just start with the top and then go down and then the middle. So I will be starting with Scarlet. As the first color. So I'm actually gonna extra hand and then I'll have to add glitter all over my hand tonight. Um, so you're just gonna dip your brush. This isn't any fancy brush. Um, I'm actually pretty sure I got this for my daughter as a brush for her to use when she does painting and stuff at home. Um, and if you get Mod Podge on the vinyl, don't worry about it because when we peel off the vinyl, it will come off with it and it won't cause any problems. Uh, we will do two coats of Mod Podge and glitter on this. So just go around as best you can. Because as you know, Mod Podge can dry pretty quickly especially on that first coat. So now we've got that all taken care of. We'll go through and just go ahead and pour all the glitter on there. This is my favorite part. So as you see, I got Mod Podge on the vinyl, but again, it's okay because when we take the tape off or the vinyl off, you won't even notice that that was ever there. The nice thing too about this is that we can switch colors and go to the next part while the top part dries. Man, I made a mess. Okay. Just switch paper. All right, so now I'm gonna just give this a little tap to get the excess off. There we go. All right, so now that we've done our red, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom part here, which is blue for Wonder Woman's pants.
And just so y'all know, Wonder Woman cups are always a good ones just for about, just about anybody. Um, they're really great teacher gifts, nurses gifts, um, anyone that just loves comic books and anything Wonder Woman. But uh, I've seen a lot of these do really well as teacher gifts. So that's the bottom. I'm gonna do now the bottom, bottom of the cup. So now we've got a nice, good, clean, covered top and bottom. I am going to do two coats, though, of Mod Podge and glitter, just because then I, I don't see any of the extra bits of, of a tumbler showing through the bottom. So I'm going to do that real quick. Give this a little tap. I always tap on the vinyl part. I know y'all can't really see because I do it kind of off camera, but... Um, if you look in there, you can see there's just a few little spots in there that need to be touched up. So that's why I always do a second coat of Mod Podge and glitter just to kind of get a few of those little spots that are up in here where the Mod Podge dried faster than the glitter. There you go, Mom. Thanks, Livy. Working late and the Livy's bringing me candy. So what we're going to do is try to one hand this. Woohoo! I'm a professional. Put the glitter back in. Okay, sure. Well, I can open that. Okay. All right. So. All right, so enough time though has, ha has passed. So we're gonna go ahead and start Putting on, let me double check. Maybe a little bit longer on there for it to dry. So what we're gonna do then is just let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and do the next coat and then I'll show you guys how to take off the vinyl. All right, so now both the Mod Podge is dry enough where we can put the second coat on. So we're just gonna go ahead and get ready to do that with the top again with starting with red. Another reason too that we do two coats is because it actually will help build up a nice wall um, for when we do the gold in the middle, um, which when you see, when you pull off the stencil, you'll really see how much it helps kind of give you a little bit of a guideline as of um, how far to push the Mod Podge up the tumbler so that you can get really nice crisp lines. So I'm just gonna walk around and just so you know, I did not put any spray sealer or anything like that on this. Um, so it's just straight another layer of Mod Podge on top of the glitter. I really like doing these cups because it's kind of sometimes with Mod Podge it's a lot of fun just because then you kind of can see I mean exactly what you're making as you're doing it especially once we take off the vinyl um it's kind of like that too with the pencil tumblers it's just nice to see the actual progression of the design come through Okay, 
Okay, just making sure I don't miss any spots. All right, so I've got the second coat on. Now we're gonna pour the glitter. Keely and I were actually talking the other day about um, tumblers that were designed like this and just different tutorials that uh, I could do. And she was like, you should do one that's a She-Ra cup. And I was like, oh man. So I actually looked it up. I just have to figure out how to make the, her crown was very unique. Um, but it'd be really cool to do because it'd just be a white cup with gold. All right, so looks like I missed a spot. Come on. All right, so we did the second coat. So now I've got a really nice, clean, fully covered top half of the cup. So I'm gonna go over here and just give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. So I can do the bottom with the blue. but must have spilled some Mod Podge. All right, so now when you're done with the red, so we're gonna start at the bottom again now with the blue and just once again, go over it with more Mod Podge. And always make sure you allow enough time in between layers for it to dry. Um, I actually waited about five minutes so um but just enough of a enough dry time to where you can kind of give it a little tap and it doesn't move blue on there again. This end up giving you a really nice even coverage when you do two layers. I guess next I have to do a pencil tumbler. Those I love doing. Bottom. So now I got the bottom all covered again, so just So now that we have done two layers of the red and the blue, we will go in and take off the vinyl. So you gotta just find one of your edge pieces. And just slowly peel it away. Glitter is going to pop off and be everywhere. <laughs> but 
that's part of the fun, right? And it sticks to you like crazy. So as you can see, it ends up giving you very nice clean lines. Lost my edge, there it is. just like that you have your nice little gap as of where the gold glitter will end up going so you can see it ends up with the very nice clean lines all around which is awesome and then we'll fill this in with gold and so for those of you who are following along you can see where there's actually like a little bit of a lip um, on each side i don't know how well you can see it but um that's going to be your guide for doing the uh next step which is the adding the gold glitter um you're going to want to wait for this to dry fully um so usually you're going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes um to make sure that you don't end up with gold sticking really in the blue or the red um so what we're going to do is stop the video for a few minutes so this can dry and we'll be right back Okay, so now we've let this stuff dry. So both the red and the blue are nice and dry. We're going to now go back in with our gold, which we have as hay there, and fill in the rest of the tumbler. Um, so basically you're gonna do just like we've already done. And you're going to just start painting on the Mod Podge. So when you do this, you're going to want to get the brush up and basically kind of push it towards the edge where the line is of the glitter. And the nice thing is, is like I said, it is going to guide you into uh, making very nice crisp lines. Just again, why I love doing these. For If you ever have a customer that's super obsessive compulsive about the design of their cup, this is a good one because you're going to nail the design. When you get up to the lines, you don't want to push too hard because you don't want to accidentally bring some of the red glitter or the blue glitter into where you're working, into the space. Um, so just kind of be gentle with it and let your brush do most of the work. All right, so I got that top part done. So now we're gonna go in with the straight line at the bottom and this is pretty easy. And if you accidentally go into like the blue or the red just a little bit, don't worry about it. You can always go back in and fix that later. Just do a little touch up with it. Um, with the mod, add a little extra Mod Podge and just touch it up. All right, so now we have that all covered with the Mod Podge. We will go in with the gold glitter. Now, because you are working over the tops of colors, don't go too crazy like, and just start pouring this stuff on top of the other colors. Um, just so, just kinda slowly work your way around. 
no big rush. This is actually one of the first tumblers I ever made. It was actually for my friend Rhoda, who is a die-hard Wonder Woman fan. And I made her a Wonder Woman cup. And I hadn't been making cups very long, so it was kind of a challenge, but at the same time, I really loved it. So once you get that first layer of gold, this is what it should look like. Um, like I, I will still go in and do a second coat of the gold in there um but the nice thing is i mean i kind of hit a couple points where i did go over a little bit in the blue but you really can't tell so looks really nice um so i'm gonna do is let that dry for a minute and then i'll go back in with a second layer of the gold and then it'll be all set to dry overnight. Um, I always do with Mod Podge cups, let them dry overnight before I put epoxy on them just so that then they get that nice, I know that glitter's not gonna move. Um, you can add spray sealer. I haven't, I don't do spray sealer on my cups. Um, and I mean, so this is just me brushing it off and then uh, letting it sit overnight. And I mean, it doesn't have any over, I don't even know what the word would be for that for when it mixes over whatever you add epoxy um, to it. So there's that. Gonna let that dry for a little bit more. So I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll come right back and show you guys how to do the next layer and then we will be all set. All right, so now this is nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and go back in for that second coat of Mod Podge and gold glitter. So just going to reapply.
almost all the way around now. And you'll just do like you did the other two layer, other two colors where you just pour the glitter on, making sure everything gets nice and coated. And there you have it. One nice, perfect, and ready to go Wonder Woman cup. So what we will end up doing now is letting this dry overnight, putting on a coat of epoxy. And then after we let the epoxy cure is when we add the decals. And when we come back, I will actually show you a secret trick that I do to make sure to always get such nice clean lines to do these by using actually heat transfer vinyl. Um, that way you still get the look of Mod Podge being on there to keep that nice clean glitter lines going um, by using HTV glittered vinyl versus regular sticker vinyl. So I will show you guys that when we come back. Hey everybody, we're back on day two and we're going to complete the Wonder Woman tutorial. So we have the cup from yesterday now has its first coat of epoxy on it. Um, and as you can see, it's beautifully done, nice and clean lines. And so today I'm gonna show you guys where the decals go and also show you guys a little bit of a trick where I actually use for this cup, um, I use HTV and it's the glitter vinyl. Um, and this is just because with glitter vinyl, with the HTV, I don't have to worry about my decal sticking. Like if I actually put it in the wrong spot and like, oh, it sticks here, it's no big deal. I can just pull it off and put it where it needs to go. So uh, I have all of my pieces cut out, all the stars, the W and the red star, and my trusty heat gun to show you guys how to use glitter HTV or any type of HTV on your tumblers. So we're gonna start with the star. I'm just going to show you guys how, um, so on here, you just line it up so that it's in the middle of the crown. So I'm going to get that sucker lined up for you guys right here. And you basically want to make sure that the point of the star is pointing to the tip of the crown. Perfect. I always set it down so I can make sure that it's straight on there. So the nice thing is if you leave enough space, the HTV will, um, the protective coat will stick on there. So it's nice and secure. And then you just peel it off. That is hot. Try not to overheat it because you will burn your fingers. It's gonna need a little more heat on that side. And if it starts to peel, don't worry, you just go back at your with your heat gun on it. and then that's gonna be nice and stuck on there. So you end up getting a really nice, perfect glitter star um, on the cup without having to do a peekaboo or any extra um, stencil work, which is really nice. So then after you put the star on, I actually like to go on the back so that this side of the cup can cool because it can get pretty warm where you've put the uh, heat gun. So I go on the back now you don't have to do it this way. This is just how I always have done them, where I put the W on the back. You can also put your customer's name here, um, which is what I've done in the past. And I will do their name out of the 
the same glitter vinyl just so that it's kind of got that nice clean look. Um, this color is called, I'll post the names of these, um, but the red that I use, it's just that it's a HTV vinyl that I get at my local vinyl store. And this one's just called red. The gold that I use is called old gold because it matched hay there. And then this is just the white. So, um, but so on this one, since I'm not putting any names on it, I'm just going to do like this and put the W. So what you're going to do is take your W, which is nice also in the glitter vinyl, and you're going to basically line this up so that the crown point matches here. So it's the same even little trick, um, tip, sorry. So what I do is I get blue painter's tape and line up where the center of the crown is and then just pull it across the cup. And so now I know where the center is for this side of the cup. Just easier for me to measure that way than to try to figure out, you know, where it is. And like I said, it's a little off center. So now I know where the point of my W goes. So what you do is line up the point of the top of the W. So it's going to sit just like that. Then you can remove your tape. And you don't have to do the tape. I just do it because it's easier for me to not have to hold it in place. And so if you look, your point here should be perfectly in line with the star and the top of the crown, which is awesome. And you can always double check by checking the sides and you can always see kind of, so you have kind of an idea about where the two decals sit here. And you always wanna make sure you're basically seeing the same kind of thing on the other side. So perfect, perfect, perfect. And that's kind of crooked. Oop. Not very straight. Perfect. Still not quite straight. There we go. All right. So now we have that and we have our W on the back. Okay. So now we have our heat gun, our decals on there. We're going to quickly heat this up, starting at one end and work our way around. Once you get that put on there, just peel off your the transfer piece and then hit it one more time just to make it nice. Yet again, the heat gun I just bought decided not to work. So I pulled out my old trusty one um, and just made sure, I went back and hit another little blast of heat on there just to double, you know, make sure that it's nice and sticky. And it has, of course, completely secured itself now to the cup. So now we have our Wonder Woman W, her beautiful star that's on her crown on there. And so now we're gonna do the stars on the bottom. Um, these are really cool because they just stick on there however pattern you want them to be. Um, and they're all stuck together. So um, I just do a pattern on this so it goes up, down, up, down, and then it, you know, meets around the front. So we're going to start down here. We're going to start with one, right? Well, actually I'm going to start at the bottom. So with these, I try to do my best to start just laying them across the whole cup so I can make sure my spacing is nice and clean. 
which is again why I like HTV because I can move these around if I feel like I need to. have a nice little up down pattern too high all right so I've got a few more to go this perfectly lines up and I'll make sure to share the dimensions of how these were so y'all can just make them yourself as well so you hit it with the gun just like before decided not to stay in place but it was nice and warm and you will just go around the cup and do the rest of them so we'll do that real quick And just like that, you have a perfectly decaled all glitter Wonder Woman tumbler. So now after this, you would just go ahead and put your final coat of epoxy on it and you are completely done. And you will end up with the amazing Wonder Woman tumblers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up for a like. And if you don't currently subscribe, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you always know when we have a new video going online. Thank you guys and have a great day.